Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we're going to look at math functions and specifically the trig functions and as you would expect uh, the math library has the standard trig functions sine, cosine, and tangent. They have the inverse of those, the arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent as well as the hyperbolic sine, cosine, and tangent functions. Um, <clears throat> unless you've done engineering, you probably have not done the hyperbolic functions, and I'll just mention those when we get to them. Uh, the sine, cosine, and tangent functions, uh, and actually all the trig functions, they don't operate on degrees, but they operate on radians. <clears throat> So you have to have your value already in radians or you need to convert your degrees to radians. To radians. So if your angle is already in degrees, you're going to need to convert those and we'll see how to do that uh, later on. So just to start with the basic functions, uh, I've got a value of x of 0.5, a y of 1, z of 0.5 negative seven or negative point seven five um, and I'm going to convert or do do the basic sine cosine and tangent functions using those variables we'll assume they're in radians and for the sign it's sin and then a single argument in the parentheses whatever your variable is so we'll use x I put written sine y here let's change that to an x and that should give us the sine of the value x. Let's copy that and make do y. And also z. So our value of z, which is minus 0.75. And so that will go ahead and run. And when we come back, we'll have those values, the sine, cosine, or I'm sorry, the sine of x, y, and z uh, values in radians. And so the sine, that the sine function gets the sine of the value. Well, you probably could guess the cosine function is very similar. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is just copy these three lines and change sine to cosine. And there we've got the cosine of those values, those, those angles. Okay, <clears throat> the tangent function works again the same way. Tan, so if I paste this, or sorry, come in here and copy this and paste it. Let's change that to tan. And I'll just do the tangent of the one angle. And we've got the tangent of that. Now, in our next movie, we'll look at converting uh, degrees to radians, radians to degrees, and look at the inverse of those functions as well. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.